Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another Swiss 001 video. And guess where we are today? Yes indeed, we're back in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and we're visiting some very interesting airports. Now, um, let's just spawn in right here. As you can see, we are inside of a Diamond 62, yeah, something like that. And we are at a very interesting location indeed. This is Lacher Airfield in the Italian Alps. Let's just, uh, fly some planes here, but, uh, I don't know how to properly start up this plane quickly so let's just go ahead and spawn in in midair and land the plane here because this is a very interesting landing indeed all right there we go oh mountain yeah flying between mountains in the alpine region there's nothing better than that and this looks extremely amazing and this is another one of those towns and airports that you know are just implemented here in the flight simulator and look very nice uh this is a very interesting town indeed i've never been to the south tyrol region of italy because you know i always go to switzerland in the mountains, but this is a very interesting place indeed. As you can see, the valleys here are known to be very, very much uh, narrow, as you can see down here. You can barely fit a village here, so how are you gonna put an airport here is the question. And I think there are some power lines here that we have to watch out for, or like ski lift or something. <laughs> here they are, you can barely see them actually, but um, that is a very big hazard here. All right, let's drive beneath the power line. Okay, we have uh, avoided this obstacle, that is good. Let's get our little diamond landed on this little grass strip. This is my first time ever landing a diamond here in the flight simulator, so this is interesting indeed. Okay. All right, we've managed to successfully stop here in this Diamond DA62. Let's go for a bigger plane that might not be that suitable for grass runways. Yeah, today's video will be all about grass runways. All right, a step up from the Diamond DA62 would obviously be some kind of, I guess, a turboprop, a TBM, or is that... You know what? Let's not waste time. Let's go for a private jet already. Something that could definitely fly here, I guess, would be something like the PC-24, because that one is actually certified to operate on grass, which is not very common with jets. The Citation CJ4 would not be that happy with landing here, but let's go ahead and land it here anyway. All right, there we go. CJ4. This plane is almost like twice as fast as the Diamond, so uh, this is not that good. All right, again, I have to watch out for the power lines. Let's not cut these. All right, now this landing here in the valley, and this is actually one of the most challenging airports that there are, you know, between all these trees. Especially in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, this is a very nice experience, though. Especially compared to the other flight simulator X-Plane that didn't have 3D trees. Oh, and that was not a good landing. I mean, considering this terrain, it was all right. There we go. Yeah, this kind of landing would have probably damaged the landing gear to some part, but whatever. Let's move on. Uh, we don't want to waste time because we've got some other airstrips to check out. Let's maybe use a little bit more of that runway. Can we go for some reverse thrust and try reversing up this mountain? We'll power on the reversers. Let's release the parking brake. And oh no, <laughs> we're actually rolling forwards. All right, this doesn't make any sense. Let's then just go ahead and cheat ourselves up the mountain. There we go. Now we have the whole runway. I mean, it's not that much of a runway, but the whole grass area for this takeoff. There we go. We've already got the engines running at Toga full power. And now I'm gonna do something that's called a pro pilot move. I'm gonna disengage the brakes. And only after that, I'm gonna start putting out the flaps. That'll help us gain as much speed as we can, I, I guess. There we go. And then when the plane is ready for rotate, we'll have flaps ready. Does that make sense? There we go. Oh, okay, this is a little bit of a bumpy takeoff, but there we go. This was a nice takeoff here in the A320, and we can climb out and just nicely while avoiding the power lines again. Who the hell put them here? Jesus Christ. But all right, all right. I don't, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to move on. A320 has been approved to be able to take off here at this airport. Landing would probably be another story, but we have got some other airports to check out as well, so let's just go there. All right, what do we got here? Oh, my goodness. I see this is a very interesting video indeed. All right, welcome to the interesting airport of Chamois in uh, also in the Alpine region, but on the French side, on the Western side. This airport is very, very close to the mountain of Matahorn in Switzerland, which is a very famous mountain, I guess. And it does exist like this in real life, I guess, and I don't like it. All right, let's just run the engines at full power, which is not a good thing here in the turboprops. Let's just go ahead. The plane is running at the moment. Let's release the parking brakes. 
Yes, there we go. I think this will be a successful takeoff, though. No worries at all. Even though I've not really been blown away by the King Air's performance here, but okay. There we go. Oh, no. Trees. All right, maybe this uh, was not that much of a good idea. This was almost a big failure. Okay, something that's weird, definitely, though, is that there's trees missing here. There's only, like, the naked scenery, which doesn't really look that good, does it? The trees here in the flight simulator are definitely, like, 90% of why this flight simulator looks as good as it does. But let's move on to a bigger plane, I guess, which probably isn't that much of a good idea. But let's do it anyway. <laughs> All right, CJ4, it's your turn again. All right, CJ4, let's do this. The airstrip is coming up ahead. Let's get this plane fully ready for this landing. We're coming in hot and, I mean, actually very hot. But no worries at all. Let's get this one landed. There we go. Now the landing. We need full concentration. Oh, well. I mean, this was definitely more of a crash landing than an actual landing. But considering the difficulty of landing here at this airfield, I think this went just fine, didn't it? No, honestly, this was really not as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, at least we stopped. So that's a good thing. It's always worth giving it a try, so let's just do it. A320, let's get you ready for this landing. The parking brake is still turned on. Meanwhile, we'll start running the engine at full power to get used to the noise. There we go. I think in real life, this would be incredibly loud, especially at this Actually, I think there is a little bit of a flight school here at this airport indeed. So you can learn to fly at this airport. Or you can perhaps learn to be scared of flying. But all right. Let's go ahead and uh, release the parking brakes first. And now let's release the tow brakes. There we go. Now the flaps can actually come down as well. And now the downhill part of this runway. I think it was a tail strike. Okay, come on. 80 knots. Not enough for flight. Not enough for flight. Trees. Not good for flight either. Now 130 knots, which is good for, you know, stable flight and 180 knots in 200. Okay, we have actually established quite a stable flight now. That is quite nice, isn't it? Even though this was not a very comfortable takeoff, was it? All right, now maybe in a plane that you can often see flying here, I guess, or at least a sort of plane that you can fly here. This is a cub plane. This is actually a, uh, what is this called again? It doesn't really matter. Let's just fly it here. By the way, this was at quite a high elevation of 5,800 feet, uh, which is not that good actually, but all right. I mean, really a Cessna or something can struggle here at some altitudes. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, a Cessna 152 or something doesn't fly very well at altitudes like this. So, uh, yeah. Alright, that was actually a nice takeoff here in the Cub. Let's just come in right now for a landing as well. Isn't this plane made out of wood? I don't think you should be pulling these stunts, but whatever. Let's just come back in for a nice landing. Oh, yeah. I really like the Cubs, actually. I mean, you could just see that, right? We just did half a loop to return back to the airport, and this plane doesn't really care, does it? We can fly at super slow speeds, like 70 knots or something. There we go. And we have stopped just nicely, but this plane's actually struggling to get up the mountain up. See, as someone who flies a Cirrus, which does 80 knots on the landing around that, this is a really nice one. All right, that was a good landing as well, so let's move on. Uh, I think we've got one other airstrip or two to check out. All right, let's let me move a little bit away from the Alpine region. Let's go to uh, the islands of Scilly in the UK. There we go. Tresco. Isn't that like a grocery store? I think that's Tesco for you. Okay. Now, the islands of Scilly, I've talked about them before in a video. Actually, this is where one of the shortest flights in the world happen. Yes, indeed, there's actually a scheduled route from San Just to uh, St. Mary's or whatever. And that is like three minutes or something of flight time, which is very interesting. But yeah, there is actual airline traffic here. And let's go for a Cessna Citation CJ4, which will probably not be happy again with this runway of 900 feet, which is, by the way, grass. Uh, I mean, let's see how well we can do here. Trees. Trees ahead. Oh, uh, all right. That was a nice landing, wasn't it? It was a very close one, but we did make it, so that's interesting. All right, now uh, a takeoff. Now, this airport is actually normally more of a helipad, but it's used by stall planes as well, because why not, I guess? <laughs> but let's go ahead and uh, get this A320 out of here. Let's go ahead and take off. Um, I mean, we can go for a swim then. It doesn't matter that much, does it? So, yeah, guys. Thank you for watching today's video. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, this plane is Jesus now, I guess. Uh, as always, good night.